With so many health trends out there, it's hard to tell what's really a buzz or a bust like this first one, the oh-so-fashionable sun protective mask. Whoa! It whoa. seems like a joke. This is important though. According to the Skin Cancer Foundation, sun protection clothing, the number one most effective form of sun protection. Would, uh, would you show up? at a little party or the beach with I, this? I think as a society, we have to transition into this. I mean, I wouldn't just show up by myself because it, you look highly suspicious. I feel as though there needs to be some, some news coverage. I would like to try this driving in my convertible here in LA. <laughs> and uh, I want to see how that would fly. I will, I will bail you out. I am going to allow you, Dr. Orden, to give this a buzz or a bust. You know what? I'm going to give it a buzz. And why? Protection from the sun is so important for all of us. We know it causes skin cancer. We know it's the single biggest thing that's going to age your skin, cause wrinkles, cause brown spots, sun damage. Woo! How do you feel? I don't know. How do I... There you go. And guess what? You match Nita's jumpsuit. You do. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh. But imagine this scenario. I'm rolling into the pool party. Everyone else is leaving because it looks like I'm there too. They're going to think it's an S&M party at the pool or something. It's a little bit out there. Why I'm giving it a buzz, especially for somebody that is that has sensitive skin, that may have a history of of uh, skin cancer, anyone who's had basal cells, melanoma, family history, this could be a good thing. Let, okay. let me highlight one thing I think you may be overlooking here. Can we, can we run those photos room. one more time? And I'm, I'm going to say that I, I'm, the concept is a buzz, but what are we not seeing in any of these pictures? There is no UV protection for your eyes, and your eyes are just as susceptible to sun damage. Well, how about the body, body too? The body. Right, right, so, so right. you got someone who's protecting their face, but not also the lips. Mm -hmm. Lips are susceptible to UV rays as well. So what worries me is someone feels like, well, I'm gonna put this on to protect my skin in my, on my face from aging, but maybe they're not truly as worried about skin cancer as they should be. I actually have arm sleeves and leg sleeves that in the summer, if I'm gonna be outside biking or being active, I actually put them on. And if I'm going to the beach, I actually wear a rash guard, not, even if, not, not because I'm surfing per se, but because of the SPF. So if you could rock this look, Drew. Wait, I think we have some of these for you too. Oh yeah, I love these. Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna roll. I mean, you guys are applauding we're, for Travis because you Travis. love Travis. But if you saw somebody else like this, yeah. would you really be applauding? Hey, Lynn, will you put my image up? I'm just kind of curious how, how I'd react to myself. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> Yeah, that's... I mean, if we're driving around in the car like that, cops are going to think 100% we just robbed somebody. From a cultural standpoint, you better wait until you have some media coverage regarding this so people know what's going on. You can't just show up. Yeah, yeah. That. You know okay. what? I'm, I'm going to keep mine, though. You're gonna, are you going to wear it? Uh, yes. I'll get Take a picture. Right. I'll bring it back. Take yes. pictures.